In class wise tutor today we are going to see how to do science fair project from scratch to finish. This video has three parts. First part how to do basic research to select your topic. Second making the trifold board. Third designing the content. As you can see the size comparison with my son of the trifold board. Now let's see in detail how to do science fair project from scratch. So for researching the topic I went to our trusty Google, typed in topics for science fair project and boom I landed on science buddies website. This website was amazing because it listed down all the projects that can be done. Find all the resources that is required in one go. That is the topics, materials required, the complexity, is it easy, hard or difficult and time required, money needed materials required and of course science behind it and video explanation so all the resources in one place it was great and if you click on to the science project tab and drop down you can also search by grade level or area of science so in grade level i have selected grade 6 because my son is in grade 6 and you can also search in their uh, chemistry related projects so they will list down everything that is based on chemistry and sixth grade so you can browse through it and select one topic which your, sign is, uh, which your child is most comfortable and of course interested in. A few days ago my son watched a Mark Roberts world's largest elephant toothpaste experiment in uh, YouTube and he was very interested and wanted to try it out by himself. So this was the topic that we selected because it, it was chemistry related and of course easy to do at home. So researched about it and uh, found out the ingredients or the components required to do this project and yes that's the topic elephant's toothpaste experiment. Now let's see some tricks and tips how to ace your project during presentation. So the most important factor that determines our success is topic. So choose a topic that is interesting and challenging that should gel with the category given by the school. For example, uh, for us it is chemistry in everyday life. So the experiment that you take should justify the topic that is given by your school. And of course your child should be interested and enthusiastic. This will definitely reflect in the result because the way they explain it matters the most. So the second tip is research. I cannot overemphasize the importance of understanding the background information the only way to do this is read 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 the child should spend quality time in understanding this uh, ingredients the concept behind it science behind it and understand what really happens and what did not so the only way uh, the child will understand is through reading so this will really reflect when you talk to the child it just flows through them so this gives the auditor that the, the child really spent time in understanding the concept which is the main purpose of keeping any science fair is to check whether the child really understood and participated the, uh, in the experiment. Third tip is application. Now you have done your research, you have done the experiment, you have understood, figured out what really happened to the experiment. Now most important thing is how to bring a totality of this experiment with the topic that you have selected. That is the main point but understand who wins the science fair project, a student with a simple project but who knows their stuff will win if he or she is a great presenter the most important is presentation yes presentation matters a lot okay so a simple project know your stuff and if you're a great presenter you can win this science fair project moving on to the second part of this video how to make the trifold board let's see the materials required Mill project board, black chart paper, duct tape, L shape, steel support. Mill project board is a thicker kind of material that is used for book binding and uh, you can use this L shape steel support if you think it is required or else you can skip it. I thought it's better to have a standalone stand so that uh, your trifold holds up better. So here you can see I have divided the mill board into three parts. Uh, the center part is uh, 26 inches in height and 18 inches in width and the two side smaller parts are uh, 26 inches in height and 13 inches in width. 
so for better support i have used two mill boards for the center piece so the place where i have marked as stand that portion is left and rest all the sides are stapled so it's like a socket or a pocket where the uh, stand will be inserted which i'll show you in a bit now next step is covering the mill board with black chart paper So here it is all the three parts are covered. So this is the middle part where we have stapled two boards together. Only the bottom part was left where the stand will be ins uh, inserted. So I have made a slit in the black chart and also secured it with a clear cellophane tape uh, so the chart doesn't tear off. So this is where you have to insert the stand. I have printed out the content in a board sheet. Now let's cut it out and paste it with a cellophane tape as shown here. So now let's join all the three portions of the trifold. For that, cut a strip of black chart paper and the key here is leave half an inch of gap between the two parts and then join in with the black chart paper that we have cut earlier. So after securing it in the back, you can secure it with the transparent cellophane tape on the front side. So this is how the back side looks like after attaching all the three sides along with the stand. So one tip is when you are securing the transparent cellophane tape in the front, uh, make sure you do it very slowly so that that one inch gap is fully secured when you stick the cellophane tape. So this is what will ensure that when you fold the trifold it holds up. So be very slow in pasting the transparent cellophane tape. So here you go. This is how the final finished product looks like. Coming to the last part, part 3, designing. So if you visit the Science Buddies website there, they have uh, detailedly explained what are the contents that should be on the project display boards. Uh, the project title, materials, procedure results, abstract, background research, conclusion, future directions, etc. So this gives you a clear idea what exactly the display boards should contain and how it should be arranged. Because I'm making it for 6th standard, so I wanted to make it more interesting, so I have included more pictures and fun facts uh, to give it more attractiveness. So for designing I have used Photoshop software. So with the exact measurement of the board uh, I have created three parts just like the trifold and then collected all the content and placed it accordingly. So two main things that we have to remember is first is the font size. So make sure the font size is readable for the audience. It should not be too small nor too large. Second is the pictures that for the pictures that you collect should be high resolution or else it might get pixelated once you resize it so make sure these two points are covered uh, the next hurdle i faced was the whole thing is, was big uh, and it would definitely be expensive if I printed in one go. So, so I got this printed on A3 board. So it took me around 5 pages totally. So one A3 board printout was around 25 rupees. So here you go. This is how we designed our science fair project from scratch to finish. Hope it answers all the queries that you might get while preparing the project. So all the best children. Hope you win. Meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.